Well, thank you for the warm invitation here tonight. And I um, just praise God that my father's here tonight to give a word of testimony of God saving grace. And, you know, before he was saved, uh, mum and dad would often take us, uh, take me wherever I was singing. Uh, they would have came along and they were so supportive. Um, and be encouraged here tonight if you have brought someone along or there's someone still uh, in your family outside of Christ because God answers prayer. Uh, and we give him the glory tonight uh, and it's just such a blessing to be here and you know we have to be so careful to give God all the glory because it's only by the shedding of his precious blood that we can be saved and that we will know forgiveness of sins. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2 Paul says for I am determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I certainly don't know much tonight, but I know that I'm saved and my sins have been forgiven. And do you know, friend, your sins forgiven tonight? Oh, but you must come by the way of the cross. And we will consider that now as I sing uh, an old hymn. There are always old hymns. I don't think this is going to work, but if it doesn't, I'll just sing without it. <laughs> And away we go without it. <laughs> My faith has found a resting place, not in device or creed. I trust the ever living one, his wounds for me shall plead. I need no other argument, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Enough for me that Jesus saves. This ends my doubt and fear. A sinful soul, I come to him. He'll never cast me out. I need no other argument. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. My heart is leaning on the word, the written word of God. Salvation by my Savior's name, salvation through his blood. I need no other argument, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Amen. And I don't think the music will work for this other wee piece, so we'll just end with this. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Well, Come on ahead, Trevor. I think maybe it was best sang without the music tonight. And may, may even feel the sense of the presence of the Lord, even as we hear those old hymns again. Now, Trevor, come on ahead and bear testimony to what the Lord has done. Amen. One, two. Jesse. Everyone hear me? Yeah. Um, just when uh, when Gemma was was finishing off there, I was just thinking um, of the times uh, that Gemma uh, wasn't singing for the Lord. You know, like there, that she was actually in a band singing, and she was singing in in bars and nightclubs where I done bouncing. And isn't it great? You know, like there, that the Lord does put a new song in our mouth, and it's. Uh, and what a change, you know, what a change, like there for, you know, for Gemma. And Gemma, of course, being our firstborn. And, uh, you know, like there, and Gemma was, was the, first, the first to be saved as well. So, like there, so um, thank you, Gemma, for that. You know, like there, I was expecting a wee bit of music there, but it was. Um, but I, uh, I want to thank Stephen here and, and Bertie. I think Bertie's. Bertie's down there. How are you, Bertie? And uh, we've had Bertie up there in the welcome hall for a week of Bible prophecy. And I uh, just got to know Bertie that little bit better. And, uh, and thank you for, thank you for that, that week. It was, uh, it was so informative, like there. And, and, uh, but, you know, like, I just want to, uh, I want to just open a, wee, a moment of prayer just for, for a moment. Glory to Heavenly Father. I just thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to share my testimony and what you've done in my life. And Lord, like there, and for my family's life, I thank you, Lord, like there, for the, the direction, Lord, that you have taken us and you have guided us. And I just pray, Lord, like there, that you're with me tonight. And I ask, Lord, like there, for the words, the wisdom, Lord, like there, and just be with me, Lord, that I feel your presence, Lord, and that we all know of your presence with us here tonight. And we thank, thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Well, uh, you know, like there, my name is, is Trevor, Trevor Suttle. And uh, we have a little place up in Fermanagh, uh, the Welcome Hall. And uh, the, in fact, like there, sometimes there would be, I'd be known better, like there, up there as the sheriff. You know, like there, so, so I have my posse here with me tonight. So I have, like there, you know, so... Uh, but um, it's, uh, it's, it has been a real blessing, like there, and I want to go back, like there, just briefly, like there, um, you know, just eight years uh, from uh, from I first sought the Lord, you know, like there, on the 23rd of this month, uh, 23rd of March, uh, 016, uh, when I called out to the Lord, because uh, I knew I needed Him, I really did, and. Uh, I just want to uh, I just want to read a little bit of scripture here just before I go any farther, and it's in. Um, uh, I want to share First um, John, verses six to ten. Uh, if we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship, one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Uh, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse 
us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have no sin, uh, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Um, well, you know the uh, the past, you know the past eight years, like there of my life, like I just uh, I could never understand, like just how how a life can be transformed so much, you know, like there by handing your life over to Christ. <clears throat> And I just, I just, I just want to say, like there, you know, like mostly when Jama sings, like there, I usually get a tear to my eye. So do you, like there, you know, and uh, and that happens nearly all the time. Uh, before I was saved, like there, you know, I could, I could count in one hand, like there, how many times I wept, and and that was that the the loss of my brother Malcolm uh, in 1975 in a, in a car accident, and the death of my father. And the death of my mother, and and I can remember when Lance, <coughs> Lance her son, was uh, diagnosed with congenital heart disease, and uh, those <coughs> those times like there I wept. But you know, like there, uh, since I got saved, you know, like there, I haven't enough fingers and toes and all the rest like there to know, you know, like how many times I've wept since, because I give all the glory to God tonight, you know, like what he's done in my life. <coughs> and I do get emotional when I think of this, you know, and how God <coughs> has spared me, spared me over 60 years of sin. <coughs> but I, I believe, you know, like there, my testimony <coughs> is, it starts like there from, uh, from I remember you know, like there, uh, as a child, um, I had a granny, like there, that used to, <coughs> used to do a lot of praying. She was a great Christian woman. And, uh, and I, could, I could see her, you know, like there, because, because we lived in a, in a farm, we had a farmhouse, like there, on a farm of 40 acres. And uh, my granny and my, my Aunt Lily lived in another small house out beyond our, our main dwelling. And... Uh, and my granny, like there, I could see her and often walked in when she was on her knees praying. <clears throat> and uh, she prayed, and I believe that she was praying so much for the family. And uh, night after night, I would watch her like there, you know, because um, I lost my grandfather in the early 60s. I can remember him like there, but, uh, but my grandmother continued like there, I could see these cars pulling up and she was going out to the wee berry on her and she was going out to missions like there um, night after night. And, uh, <clears throat> and I believe, you know, like there, this is, this is part of my pathway because it's all about prayer, you know, like there. And uh, prayer is so important, uh, you know, like there in any family life. But, you know, it took a, it took, it took a long time like there for, uh, for me to realize uh, like there, um, that uh, because I was I was born into a family of eight of us. There was five boys and three girls, and uh, and we were we were there's there's no point. I'm not polish it up like there because I know we were we were we were noted as a wild bunch like there. Um, uh, we had um, my father like there was a, he was a heavy drinker, he was a heavy smoker. Um, he. He was, he, he could have been quite violent, you know, like there. And, you know, in our footsteps, like there, as we, as we grew, like there, you know, like there, we sort of followed in our father's footsteps, like there, we become, uh, we become, you know, drink was very much part of our family. And we become like there, um, we become like there, people of doing a lot of scrapping and fighting as well. Um, we also, uh, also had, you know, like their, the little village Slabby, like there, where we come from, like there. Uh, I can remember, like there, but I think this would be a slight exaggeration in the papers at the time, like there, but uh, we had it, like there, at one time, like there, the village of fear or the village of terror uh, because, of, because of our behaviour, you know, like there. And, uh, and you know, like there, this, uh, and that, that, was, that was part of our life because, like there, it was about, it was about racing cars, it, 
it was about the police chasing us like they're you know twenty four seven and and uh, and that was that, that was part of, that was just our background like there and and Malcolm like there is the 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 brother that I was very close to uh, that was killed in a car accident <coughs> um, you know like there and he was he was a he was the mechanic you know like he was the mechanic like there of the uh, that, that kept the, the, the vehicles running, so it is like there, you know, and um, uh, but it was um, part of my journey, like there, you know, was I, if I go back, if I go right back to where it all began, like there, it was back in the mid 50s where I, when I was born, and uh, and I'm just thinking that, well, I'd say, Bertie, maybe you were, you'd left school at this stage, and uh, Stephen, even he, he wasn't here, Talev. Uh, but you know, like there. But my family, like I had a great mother, so I had I really had a good mother and a very caring mother. And uh, and right up through, right up through that time, you know, like there, where we were sent to Sunday school and where we were we done so many things. But it was it was in the it was the fifties up into the sixties, like there, where we didn't have we didn't have the luxuries of running water. We didn't have the luxuries of electricity. Uh, any of those things. And, uh, and 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 we and we roughed it, you know, like here. But uh, believe you me, like here, you know, it was a big family, but it was still a happy family. And uh, and we had uh, with so with so many uh, with so many uh, good times, like there, you know. But believe you me, we're done with an awful lot less uh, than than what we have today. And uh, we just we we soldiered on, like there, right up through right up through up into my teenage. And you know, like when I talk about when I talk about how God and prayer, like there upon my life, like there, you know, like there, I just believe that God had His hand upon my life, um, you know, like there, right through because I went through uh, a lot uh, because I got involved in in heavy planting machinery and 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 quarrying and and road construction and all those things, like there. But I had some uh, some very horrendous accidents and. Uh, and how you know, like there, how I come out of them, like there, you know, like there was beyond me, like there. Um, I know, like there, there was. I know, like there, I, I actually went out over the face of a quarry, like there, and and while the the vehicle was going over, like there, I was threw out, and I was on the ground before the lorry, like there. But she come on top of me, like there, and I was underneath that vehicle for for two hours or more, and they they were making very poor headway, you know, like there of. Of, of retrieving me because I was jammed. I was re really uh, in, a, in a, a, a stuck position like there underneath the cab. Uh, but I actually was, God spared me, so he did like there. And uh, and, and went, to take me right on through, you know, like there, uh, my life like there uh, was was just one, one horrific accident after another. And, uh, but it was, it was right up until um, uh, when I met Heather, uh, so I did like her. Uh, I think maybe that was a fairly good turning point, but it was uh, <laughs> it was a good turning turning point, Heather. But it was uh, it was a time it was a time like there that I was uh, uh, I was I was I was continuing to be a heavy drinker and smoker, and as I say, like uh, getting up to all the the nonsense of the day. And uh, but uh, as, as as Heather walked past the end of the lane one day. Uh, you know, like I says, you know, like there, I says, uh, there's a wife for me, and uh, and she already had a couple of children, but they were cousins of hers or something. So it was like there on tow, and uh, but um, in 1979, you know, Heather and I got married, uh, so we did, and uh, and uh, again, like there, it was just shortly after that, like there, that uh, that Jama Jama was born, and. Uh, uh, but you know my life, my life didn't change uh, at all. So it didn't like her because I I just preferred to live my life as a single man. You know, like her, I was I was chasing all the wrong things what I shouldn't have been. You know, like there, and I was continuing to drink, and I wanted uh, I wanted my life. You know, like there, it was I wasn't taking on much responsibility like there as uh, as a parent. So it wasn't like there because I still wanted to take my drink. I still wanted to uh, have time like there for uh, just for for going to the bars and and all the rest like there. And it's just I just and that was me like there. So it was. But um, the 
as life, as, as time went on, like we had our second child, Deborah, and then there was Holly, and then there was Lance. So there was like there. So, but during during that period of time, like you know, like I was working again when I talked about road construction, like I was working away from home, and and while I was working away from home, like I was just finding every reason to drink and to do to do like uh, what a married man shouldn't be doing like I uh, was chasing into clubs and nightclubs and all the rest like there and and uh, and I just uh, there was there was no there was nothing there was nothing like there that I wasn't prepared to try but you know like uh, but I had uh, down in County Kildare you know like we were working on the near bypassing and and I had another very very serious accident and uh, and that accident like there um, it nearly it, it nearly took my life and you know, like there, each time that I, you know, that I think about this now as, I, as a as a born again Christian, you know, like there, any of those times of my life had been, been taken, you know, like if I had been killed, you know, like my destiny was hell. So it was like because there was there was no question, like you know, like there, the life that I was living, I didn't respect God whatsoever. I had no time for God, and and this is the life I was living—a very very dangerous pathway. And uh, and I remember like there I had I had no idea I wasn't actually driving the vehicle like there but it was late at night and we were just coming back like there from a uh, from a nightclub and uh, the driver like there hit the curb and he hit a tree and I know like there I was I went forward uh, and hit the tree with my head like there and I was fired across the road and I can remember nothing until the, uh, at some stage the the following day when I when I come around like there and. And I was, I needed to go to the toilet, and, and I went to the toilet, and I mind looking in the mirror like there, and, and just, the whole, just the whole top of my head was completely black, my teeth were smashed, and the bottom, and part of my leg was, was, was completely opened, and, uh, and I, just, I just couldn't believe what happened like there, you know, because I had, I just had literally fractured the temple of my, you know, my skull, and there was, and even yet at that like you know, when I went back to the bed like there and demanded to see the doctor and and um, he come and I says like I says I just told him, I says, I want out of here. And he says, You're not going anywhere. I says, I am. And uh, I uh, he says, Your injuries are so serious, like there, you can't uh, you can't leave. You know, like well I says you can't stop me, you know, like, uh, this is the, the kind of a, an attitude and the person that I was, and, uh, and I says, could you get me a telephone, and they got me a phone, like, and I phoned mine ringing out to the site, uh, like, where were you doing the bypass, and, and I got one of the engineers out and signed the, the appropriate form, and I, and, and he, he headed me home, like, and that was a long journey, like, here from Kildare, like, here back to Tlaway, but what sticks in my mind, like, here was, was uh, <coughs> was Heather coming to the front door with jam in her arms, <coughs> and both both of them crying, <coughs> and it was as bad as that. <coughs> I was just I was <coughs> literally tore to pieces. <coughs> But of course, I was admitted, you know, like there into into hospital again, you know, like there nearly right away. <coughs> and you know, you know, someone even from that, I couldn't learn. You know, like there, and uh, and it was just, you know, like there from from literally one court case into another and things like there, and I just remember going out again, and and getting into. And into a fight and, and actually nearly killing the man, he ended up in, in hospital. <coughs> and I ended up in jail. And, uh, and again, that's where I can remember Heather, my wife, and Gemma coming in like there to see me. And, and again, you know, like there, um, I continued that hardness and that in my life and you know Lord and I just just you know there's times I prayed and there was times I you know like I was seeking God and 
and you know, like there, even even during during my early early life, like there with Heather, like there, well, Heather became a Christian, and I mind attend meetings and um, missions, like there with Willie Honeyman, like there, and I and I thank God for this man, like there. That was a, a man, like there, that he followed me up time and time again, and and he literally beat the steering wheel of his car, and he cried for my soul. <coughs> But it was uh, it was to no avail like there then. But I believe like there, uh, Willie also has a lot to do with where I am today, because like there, um, Willie Willie passed away and he, he he didn't see he didn't actually see me being saved, you know like there. But um, but you know, it's all through all through my my life like there, um, and all these horrific things like there that I. That I was carrying out and through my accidents and like there, um, and trials of many things like there, you know, uh, I believe like there, you know, Heather was uh, was the backbone, you know, like there of the family like there because it's not that I was a, an awful father and like that there, you know, like there, I loved all my children dearly, <coughs> but, but I just I lived I lived for my life, you know, like this life that I was living, you know, like there this life of sin, and. Uh, I just, you know, I con- that's that's the journey that I continued, like. But you know, like there, there is, there's, there's, there comes a time, there comes a time in your life, like there, and, and um, um, there was a, there was a mission over in, in Lissaski at the Emmanuel Fellowship. It was then, uh, the, Independent Methodist, but Darl Kid was taking it, you know, like there, and. It was it was just during it was during that time, and I, I actually attended the mission a night or two, and uh, um, but I was I was seeking I was really seeking God like there, uh, you know like there, and I knew at this at this time like there you know, uh, Gemma like there Gemma had been got saved in, in two thousand and six and Holly like there two years after that in wait. and and Deborah and Heather. You know, like there in 015. And this mission was happening in 016. And over that over that period of time, like there, that just go into the mission. And uh, and I was going home and I was I was speaking to and I knew I knew that I needed to be saved. I knew uh, that uh, that I was living in darkness and my life was full of it, you know, like there and and I and, and I was praying and I was talking to God, so it was like there, and I was just asking him, like there, you know, like there, what what do I need to do to be saved? And I couldn't get any assurance. But it actually was the uh, it was the last it was the last night of the mission, and uh, and I remember being up upstairs, and um, just for a cup of tea. And and I, and I was I was I was struggling I was, I really was and uh, and the main door looking across at me and he says he says Trevor he says are you okay and I says you know darling I says I am I'm not I says like there I says I have been I've been talking to God and I've been praying and I've been seeking and I says uh, I can't I can't get any assurance and. Uh, and he just he says, Trevor. He says, Do you want do you want assurance? And uh, and I says, Yeah. And 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 I he says he says he says come with me. So, darling, I left left the, the room and we went downstairs and and that's where I got on my knees like there and I and I seek the Lord <coughs> and that's where I got saved and uh, on on that on that particular night like there was I mean, darling, opening up. The scriptures like there at at Romans ten uh, nine to eleven that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture saith whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. And that's one thing I never was um, from that night, from I, from I got saved like there. 
Um, uh, Darl like there just got up, and I, I often say like you know what I had to give Darl a hand up like there from from his knees, and uh, and, and I mind him getting up and he, and he and he stretched his arms in the air, <coughs> and he praised and he praised and he praised the Lord, <coughs> and he was shouting Hallelujah Hallelujah, and just as he was doing that like there you know Heather could hear Darl upstairs praising God and. She didn't know what was going on. And she instantaneously thought like there that I was having a, a full on argument with Darl. And and that, you know, like there that I was I was causing an issue with him. But little did she know, you know, like there at that present moment, that uh, Darl was praising the Lord along with the angels in heaven. Uh, that that I give my life to Christ. And uh, <clears throat> and you know, some <clears throat> you know, since that since that, like there, you know, it's been, um, you know, I just didn't really, I didn't even, uh, I didn't realize, like there, what I was, what what I was stepping into. I just, I, I knew I needed this. I was being convicted. I was being convicted of my sin, <coughs> truly, you know, like there, because, um, because knowing, knowing of, and as I say, I give God all the glory, like there, you know, like there, for, uh, for, for my life, you know, like there, because I believe, like there, that God has. Has a plan, and he has his hand on our life. And he certainly had his hand on mine because uh, one of the one of the more serious accidents was too. Like there was uh, just I rolled off the top of a mountain, like there, and a, a fully loaded machine, like there, and I lost this ear, and and I was I was I was cut up quite badly to ribbons, like there, you know. So, and but to make a to shorten this testimony was like there that. Um, they got me to hospital and eventually got me down to Dundonald and it was some months like there but it took actually three operations uh, like there to to make this here, get this ear right and it ended up they actually took the cartilage of my rib to make the ear and it was often says like there, the two previous operations like there they made a pig's ear of it so the uh, it didn't you know like there and and, and that was that was that was because if you could have known or seen what actually happened that day, you would, you would understand when I say, God was protecting me. <coughs> because, because my destiny <coughs> was, was beyond, like there, there was a 60, 70 foot face on my left hand side of the quarry and there was, it just went on for about half a mile down. I was being through through the cab like a rag doll, and uh, you know, like there. But um, and I could see blood being spattered round the windows. You know, like there. As this was all taking place, and but as if <coughs> as if somebody grabbed my hand <coughs> and spun the wheel and and coped the machine. And when I say cope the machine, like there, you know that that actually saved my life. So it did, like there, from uh, from uh, a death and the unknown, you know, like, and I knew then because I was not saved at this stage. But you know, like there, but God, I believe, had His hand on my life that day as well. So I just, you know, I I have I have so much to be thankful for. But uh, you know, like there, that night after I got saved, like there, you know, it was. Uh, it was a time when I remember stopping in with uh, Jem and Alan on the way home <coughs> and telling them, <coughs> you know, and, you know, from, from that day, from that day onwards, like there, you know, I wanted to, uh, <coughs> I wanted to do, to do something and not to be ashamed of Jesus, you know, like there, and I wanted to speak his name. And, uh, you know, like there, and over this last eight years, like there, you know, like there, I have, I have witnessed, you know, witnessed too many, and uh, some of the girls said, like there, you know, like there, on your gravestone, Dad, like there, we'll put, are you saved? Because this, that's a lot I would ask people, you know, are you saved? You know, sometimes it gets a, a good reaction, a poor reaction, like there, no reaction, and, but you know, someone that opens up a conversation, like there, you know, and. 
and 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 I have I've had some amazing times with uh, a lot of people, a lot of people like there, and I'm talking about when I'm out like there, just where I do a bit of landscaping. I have to give that a wee plug as well, and uh, the I, I meet a lot of people, but I I speak to them about the Lord Jesus Christ, and. Uh, because, you know, when I'm looking upon people and, and I know I'm looking upon sin, I'm looking upon a lost soul and a soul that needs saving. And, you know, like there, and, and, that's, and that's, you know, like, and I see, you know, like in Joel 2, uh, God says, I will restore the years that the locusts have, have eaten, you know, like there. And I, and I just, I want it, I just want so much <coughs> to see people saved. You know, like there, and and that's the way it has been. You know, like there since I got saved. But the welcome hall, like there, you know, like there, it was it was dark, like there. You know, says to me, like there, we're down having a barbecue one day, and uh, along with a few other Christians and a few non-Christians and all the rest, like there, gathered in, and uh, and dark, like there. Uh, him and I was walking around the yard, and he says to me, he says, Trevor, he says, you know, he says you have a, you have a good place here for a for a mission. And, and the words I I says, Darl, I says, on your back. You know, like I said, you know, I wasn't I wasn't saved five minutes later, and, and, and I said like there and I says Well he says he says, Don't don't write it off, Trevor. He says, he says, Why don't you and, and, and Heather pray about it? And uh, and that's exactly what we done. Uh, and and I had I had little you know, little knowledge of of anything of the Bible. You know, there was there was a lot of things like there it was so new to me. But you know, someone like there when you when you reach out, you know, like there, and if God is speaking and you answer to God like there, and you do what God is asking like there, you know, God will give you the blessings. And uh, and we yeah we we decided that we would have a mission. And uh, and at that mission like there, we had we had three weeks of mission and we had one week of of Bible club like there for for children. And and it was through that mission, like there, there was there was eight 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 people got saved. And and you know that journey continued, you know, like there with the welcome hall, and uh, it continued like there on that we have actually over the over eight years we had five missions. And there's there's been there's been a lot of uh, uh, missions and monthly services like there, children's summer clubs, monthly outreaches. And during COVID, like there, we obeyed God's word. We continued with prayer meetings and service in person. And Hebrews 10, verse 25, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as ye see that day approaching. And, uh, and, and, and it has, you know, like there, and I, I sometimes have to pinch myself like there because, you know, like there, on the, on the grounds like there, the hall is sitting on new grounds like there, but when uh, some years, even before I, I got saved like there, I was digging, I was digging this pathway and, and, and I had no reason to dig it. And it was out into a bit of disused ground and it was bog land and, 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 I know I was fond of machinery and all the rest like there, but I just, you know, I, I didn't have any purpose for it. But I was digging this laneway like there and, and, and right out to near enough the end and all the rest like there. But, you know, as I, as I completed most of that uh, laneway and into the yard, started, started making a yard out of it like there, you know. Uh, you know, that's, that's in around the time that, you know, that I got saved. That's the time I got the, the first mission. And we moved the hall from from uh, the smaller yard that we have at the house, like there, out to the bigger yard. And uh, we have now, you know, like there, uh, the welcome hall, like there, and uh, we have a just a portable kitchen, and uh, and we use that for the tea, for teas and stuff like that. And we have a wee place for for children's uh, children's Sunday school, and uh, you know, like there, and God really has moved miraculously. You know, like there, in in our lives, and like there, that, uh, and you know, like there, and we have we have some we have some uh, great faithful people. And I see there's a few of them here tonight, David and Sandra, Viola and Ron, Arne, like there, you know, and it's 
There's all the ones like there that, and from, you know, like they're from this, uh, as Darl Kidd would call it, like they're a, a little backwater place like there. It's only, a, you know, it's a, it's a hall, just a wee wooden structure hall. But you know, like there, over those, over those five missions like there, you know, and one of them was the drive and during COVID, we, um, we have seen many, and I mean many, come to Christ. And, and, and I thank God for that. And you know, like there, and it's uh, looking back in my life and, and just trying, trying to just to, to see, you know, like if, if for me standing up here and, and, and just testifying, you know, like here, what God has done in my life and has brought my family through. And when I talk about bringing my family through, like there, you know, like where uh, I know Holly stood here and testified, like there, uh, what she is, what she went through here, like there, uh, September, September 2021. You know, like there, when I was, uh, when I was sitting in the car and I accompanied Holly, like there, to Alton Gavin, you know, like there, um, you know, like there, said, there was a lot of tears that day. <laughs> Because that's, that's the day that Holly was diagnosed with cancer. <coughs> but you know, like there, God, <coughs> God has a reason. You know, like there, God has a reason for everything, like there. And it's not that, it's not that he was putting any distance between, uh, between Holly and him, like there, because we just grew closer. <coughs> and, you know, like there, and... Holly has, you know, like your Holly has testified about that, you know, about her, about her journey with cancer. But, you know, like there, uh, God is gracious, and God is good, you know, like there, and has, has brought her through, has brought her through, like there, you know, and, and her family, like there, and generally, like there, at that particular time, with, even with her husband having a bad accident and all the rest, you know, like there, uh, there, and it's fantastic to see them here tonight. <sighs> And I know, like there in Madison, and even at that time, like there was was dealing with the tumor. So, you know, there's there's a reason, there's a reason for it all. Like there, and one day we we'll know it, <coughs> we we'll know why God, <coughs> because like there, once you're, you know, once you're saved, like there, it doesn't mean like there, there's someone going to be rosy in the garden, by any means. <coughs> I have had many, you know, like I have many uh, confrontations, like there. And uh, just even even just uh, just one of them like there's just uh, a guy walked in like there into a hardware store uh, in front of me and we're, we're bid the time of the day and and there was just the banter and one thing and another but he was talking to the weather he just he, he came out with the he came out with a statement about Jesus Christ you know like there and he was using this big time like there and and I mind I stalled him and I says like there I says do you hear what you're saying no he says well I says you're taking you're taking my Lord's name in vain. You're using them as a swear word. And like there, and I says, you know, like, and, and I, want, I want to encourage, you know, like they're all Christians, like they're, you know, like they're, stand up for Jesus, like they're, look what he done for you. You know, like they're, because, you know, like, <coughs> I was just thinking coming down the road, <coughs> just thinking coming down the road, like there, that, uh, you know, like, uh, we get concerned about certain things, and, you know, and like, and I was, I was even a little bit concerned about standing up here tonight, and you know when I says, I says Jesus sweated blood <laughs> for you and I, and uh, you know like there, and he, and for the nails, the crown, and everything that he suffered, you know like there, that he made a way for each and every one of us here, and <clears throat> and I thank God each and every day, but there's you know there's many. There, there's many situ- and there's many situations, but I would encourage, I would encourage Christians, you know, like there to, to do something, do something like there, for Jesus, like there. There's going to come the day, you know, like there. There's going to come the day, like there, and I believe it's not far away. I really, I truly believe it. And just even listen to Bertie, like there, you know, explaining, you know, Bible prophecy and. And, and I believe, like there, that we are so close, like there, on the return of on the return of Christ. And uh, and and I would encourage, you know, uh, you all, you know, like there, to reach out, you know, reach out to neighbours, reach out to friends and family, like there, you know, and and pray, and I mean pray because, and I do believe, like there, like 
small, and when, when we talk about the little backwater place like the, the Welcome Hall and, and, and other like there, because the lifeboat like there is is very much part, you know, like there of the Welcome Hall and the Emmanuel Centre up there and Paris East like there, you know, there's a sort of, there's that, there's that connection. And, uh, and I believe like there through, through prayer uh, from these very, and, and, and I thank God for, the, for, for Stephen and for the like of Bertie and for Robert like there, for those that preach, preach the word uh, and preach repentance and salvation and they need to be saved, you know, like there, because, because that, that, you know, that is, that is the way. It's the only way. So it has, like there, you know, and, and I meet so many people, uh, like there, that, uh, that they believe, like there, Trevor, don't speak to me like that, because, you know, like there, you know, I, I don't do this, I don't do that. I'll turn to you and I'll say, you're a sinner. And, and sometimes that offends, but I says, I'm telling you the truth because you haven't recognized Jesus as your savior. You haven't recognized Jesus like there as the one that died on the cross. Why did Christ hide for you? Why did Jesus like there, why did he, why did he shed so much blood? Why did he, you know, like, why did he, you know, like there, Jesus never spoke because he knew there was no other way for you or I. And, uh, and you know, someone like there, um, regardless of, you know, like there, I, I can get one, two together, and I can get maybe as many as five, but you know, like, but that's, you know, like there, I believe like there, you know, that's, that's, my, that's my gift like there, that God has given me, you know, like there to witness. And, uh, and that's exactly what I want to do. And uh, just, just witness a wee man in a church that we were visiting there the other day, Grace and I. And, uh, you know, someone was just, you know, he, he, uh, he says, like there, and I just, he was the only other one in the church. And, uh, and I just, I spoke to him about, about Jesus. And I asked him, was he saved? He said he wasn't saved. And I says, you know, I says, you need to be saved. I says, you need the Lord Jesus as your Christ and Savior, as I did. And I says, and if you don't recognize that, you know, like there, you're still in your sin. And, you know, like I get a, maybe a small small time, you know, like there with each individual. But you know someone I just I just believe like there to plant that seed is very important. You know, like there that they may well I'm gonna i I'm gonna finish up uh, with just one question. Um, uh, I wanna ask each and every one like there, you know, here tonight. You know like when we go out through this door, you know like there uh, stepping out of here tonight, looking up to the night sky can you say, if you come tonight, Lord, I am ready? Or in the morning, you step out through your front door, um, can you say, if you come today, Lord, I am ready? Thank you. Thank you for listening. Mm. Mm.